Hi, uh, this is Dan Waterloo from phplistsupport.com. Today I'd like to show you how to import your list into phplist. So I've got my uh, browser open right here and I will go ahead and log in. And I've got some lists on the desktop over here. So I'll just say uh, subscribers, uh, import emails. And there's three ways that I can do this. I can copy and paste a list of emails. I'll start with that. So I'll select that and it can, it tells me or it asks me which list do I want to subscribe these emails to. So I'll just say, I'll put them on my newsletter list. Over here I have my text editor open with a list of some emails. So let's say I'm going to copy these. I'll say copy and then I'll come over into the PHP list website and say paste. So I'm going to paste those in there. And I've got this clicked here, check to skip email addresses that are not valid. So if there's one in there that's not correct or not a valid email address, it will not import it. That's good. So here I'll just say import emails. And that there it's done. 13 lines, 13 emails were imported. There were no duplicates and uh, all of them were, were import, were, were valid emails. So now I'll come into this import emails again. I'll show you number two. This is import by uploading a file with emails. Import by uploading a file with emails. So I'll select that this time. It's going to ask me which list I should add these subscribers to. I'll add them to the newsletter list. And I need to browse to the list of emails and the, that list should have one email per line. Let me go look at this file here that I've got on my desktop. Well, it's a, first of all, it's a spreadsheet. So I, I want it to be a text file. So what I'll do, and I can see here, it's just one email per line. That's good. File, save as, and I'll put it back on the desktop. And this time, what I'll save it as a MS-DOS formatted text. So it's going to be in a text file. So I'll go ahead and save it. So it's 100 emails only .txt. That's on my desktop. I'll save it. It's telling me that's different than a spreadsheet. That's fine. I know that. So I'll close it. And what I'll do here, what I like to do, and I would recommend you do this, is Go ahead and open that with your favorite text editor, okay? And just look at it. Make sure that you're, you have what you think it is. I've got 40 lines and there's one email per, per line. That's good. So now, now that I have this text file, I know what's in it. It's in the right format. I'm just going to say browse. And uh, 100 emails only dot text. And if I want, I can uh, test the output. That's a good idea because you can see what it's going to do. And then if you like what it did, you can import. And I'll have the, I prefer to receive emails in HTML format that's selected. So everyone that I'm imported, when they get an email, they get an HTML version of the email. I'm going to say import. And the first thing I should see is this test. So click on import. And then here's what it thinks it's doing and it's saying, yeah, that looks good. So it says here, if the output looks okay, go back and then resubmit for real. So that's what I expected. This time around, I'll deselect the test input and I'll say import. And there it goes. It added 40 subscribers to the list. There were 40 emails in there. That's good. Now I'll do the third option here, this import emails. This time we will be importing a CSV file where there's additional data. So I'll select that. I need to tell it, add these people to the newsletter list. It's not more complicated, it's just more selection. So, so at this point I have to have the attributes of the records on the first line. So attributes are little pieces of information that are 
associated with each subscriber. And the, the minimum is you need to have an uh, email. And um, we have to select the file that we want to import. We have to tell it what the delimiter is. This is the character that separates the email from the uh, different attributes and the attributes from each other. It, the default is a tab, so it's a tab delimited file. We'll use a comma separated values. Let's start by opening up our source list that's in a spreadsheet. And a lot of times this is the way the addresses come across. So I have this time I have 100 email addresses in there. And at the top row, it says email, first name, last name. Okay, so that, those are the attribute names. So this will be mapped to the email. So here I'll come. So the first thing I need to do is say file, save as. And I need to save it as a text file. I'll save it as a CSV file. Come down here. Uh, MS DOS comma separated values. Save it. So it'll be text test underscore CSV underscore list dot CSV. And it's going on the desktop. Save. Continue. We can close this. Get out of Excel. Before we try to import it, we need to make sure it contains the data that we're expecting. It's always a good idea to verify this before you start the import. So I'll say open with, and I'll say TextMate. I like TextMate on the Mac because it shows all the invisible characters. So here we go. There's a three columns here if you recognize this this first one's the email second is first name then last name and each line has an email address a first comma a first name and a last name that looks good so that's the file i'm going to use i'll say browse and over on my desktop the test underscore csv underscore list at csv the field delimiter if you don't tell it anything, it'll look for a tab, but we actually have a comma between each field. So we'll put that down there. We'll say test. Yes, we, I, want, I want it to show me what it's going to do before I OK it. So that's clicked. Omit invalid. This one is if the email is missing or um, you know something's not right, it'll omit it. That's good. So you have a selection on this. If if the email exists already in the database, then it can overwrite it. And then if you want, you can keep the old one and it'll mark it as a conflict. So we'll just say overwrite existing for this example. In review, what I've done here was I told it I wanted to import a list with emails and other data. I gave it the browse. I told it what file, what the delimiter is, show me a test and then import, so I should see the test. And it, here's my test. It says here, well, it found the email. That's good. That's the email address it had the column name of email. That's good. And then there were those two other column names, first name and last name. There were no attributes set up in the system yet. So I'm, telling, I'm going to tell it, hey, go ahead and create a new one for both of those. So as I say, continue. And then it shows me that the e the column called email is going into the email in the in the database. First name is going to create a new attribute called first name, last name, etc. And then here's what's going to map with 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 that. It's like first name is Allison, last name's Hill, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So now I'll just say confirm that, and it'll import those 99 records. The first record was the header. There we go, there we have. So we have 199 emails. So now if we come in here and say search subscribers, we have 152. So we had the 12 that I pasted on here and then we had the 40 that we imported on a text file and then the 99 or so that, that came out of the CSV file. Okay, that's it, thank you.